Next prepare. We're going to be looking at a A1466 that's not turning on. And let's get started. OK, so we're drawing 0.032 amps on this airboard. This is an 820-3437. This is getting kind of old at this point. Let's open up the schematic in the board view and get right into it. So what we have to do is go through the list of power rails, see what's missing and what's present. So PP bus G3 hot is the first rail. And because Paul Daniels at pldaniels.com made this amazing software, I can right click on PP bus G3 hot and it shows me right where it is on the board. Is that not amazing? Let's get started. So PP bus G3 hot is going to be over here and it's zero volts on this side. On the other side, we get 0.3 volts. So that's something. We're supposed to be getting 8.6 volts over there. And instead of 8.6 volts, we're getting 0.32 volts. Let's put the multimeter into resistance mode and see if we have a short to ground at that rail. It seems like we have 35 kilo ohms to ground. That's not a short circuit. We need PP3V42 in order to get PPBUS G3 hot. So let's see if that's present. Do we have PP3V42? We don't. We have 0.49 volts. That's not good enough. So why do we only have 0.49 volts on PP3V42? Let's see if there's a short circuit to ground on that line. Let's see if the voltage is being taken to ground. And it is. We have a 1 ohm short to ground on PP3V42. That's no good. So before we try anything like injecting voltage in the board, I want to actually look at the board, get an idea of if there's a component that's obviously shorted. Because if there's something that's obviously shorted by physical appearance, it saves me the hassle of attaching wires to the board, thermal cameraing it, pouring alcohol on it, and trying to inject voltage into rails to figure this out. So as you can see, this board is very dusty. It's got some green probe points under there. It's got a little bit of fuzz. It's got quite a bit of fuzz, actually. Look at all, Look at all that fuzz. Gross. Blech. Dusty, 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 so dusty. Aha. What's this? I sense corrosion. Hmm. How does that look to you? That's for PP1V2S5 SMC. And right next to it, is PP3V42. These three caps are for PP3V42. So that means that this cap over here, that looks like garbage, is for PP3V42. Now I'm going to zoom in as much as I can on this one capacitor. And you tell me what you think of it. It's going to be that middle one right there. We're at 45x. Do you think that that is a good capacitor? Or do you think that that's a bad capacitor? Bada bing. So we knocked that capacitor off of the board. There's a lot of hairy stuff over there. This isn't a nice board. Look at that. You can actually see the disgust in different levels as I change the zoom. So watch, I'm going to adjust the zoom slowly, and you can almost kind of follow that ball hair as it crawls up the board from okay, right to left. And now look from left to right. Ugh. <laughs> Gross. That is one disgusting motherboard. This motherboard was killed by ball hair. So we're going to take that capacitor off, GTFO. And we're going to adjust those capacitors later. I'll make them look a little nicer. This board is obviously going to have to be put through the ultrasonic cleaner because it looks like it's got a bunch of nasty, sweaty ball hair on it. And nasty, sweaty ball hair is not good for MacBooks. It breaks them. I'm going to try plugging this in now. And as you can see, we're getting a light on the charger. It's drawing amperage. And if I turn it around, you'll see that the fan is going to start spinning. Now, the 3437 board is one of those boards from 2013, 14, where it turns on, off, on, off, on, off, on. But once it's done with that cycle, you'll see that it turns on and stays on. And that is how ball hair that is sweaty can actually kill a MacBook motherboard. That's all it took to kill this MacBook motherboard. Ball hair with sweat on it. Look at this. From here, see this? That's more like fungal infested ball hair. Uh, what does your ball hair look like? You say fungal ball hair? Yeah, some, some Somebody's speaking from experience. Well, no, it looks like that. I mean, it's How do you know what fungal ball hair looks like? You said you don't like Elon Musk and Tesla, but could you say why? I want to know your opinion. I'm not a big fan of Tesla because they seem to be the apple of cars. It, like, when it comes to uh, longevity, repairability, they very much seem to be going in the direction of Apple except with cars. 
Yeah, I mean, e- Elon Musk definitely cares more about the company than than Apple, and he and he cares more about the quality of the products he puts out. It's not like you know his at least his products are not going to be getting killed by ball hair, but and they restrict the parts like crazy. Paul was showing me this other, on this site the other day, this automotive parts site. This is what you can buy for every other car, and this is what's available for Tesla. It's like two or three things. Everybody has better service than Apple. It's a similar pattern. Be highly innovative. Focus on the highest end clientele. Make products that are, vert- that are kind of rentable, not repairable. All right, so this, this one can get dumped in the ultrasonic cleaner. And then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Once all the ball hair has been removed from the board, it's going to look amazing. You're going to like it. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful board. All right, now we can check out what the board looks like after it's left the Crest Ultrasonic Cleaner. And as you can see, it's looking pretty nice. I'm going to zoom in on the caps right over here where all of that nasty junk was. And as you can see, all of it's been removed. I could touch that up a little bit. You could see that if I just add a little bit of flux and touch it up with the Hakko FM2032 iron, link in the description below, it'll look just perfect. And as if I zoom out and I look over the rest of the board, you'll see that all the evidence of that janky looking nasty ball hair has been removed. As always, you check out Crest Ultrasonic Cleaners available on store.rossmangroup.com. Is your MacBook disgusting? Is your MacBook filled to the brim with sweaty pubic hair? If that's the case, you need an ultrasonic cleaner, and store.rossmangroup.com is the place to get it to you. On store.rossmangroup.com, you can find an ultrasonic cleaner tailored to your specific need. Whether you need something that's small for a cell phone board like a P230 or a large ultrasonic cleaner like the P1200 for a larger touch bar, we've got you covered. We've even got large special order types of ultrasonic cleaners like the P2600H45 that are great for car parts and firearms. With over 1,000 five-star reviews on shopperapproved.com, you can't go wrong. Don't delay, buy today. Also, make sure to check out my friend Lilu's music channel. She just started a new YouTube channel that she plans on putting all new music videos and covers on. And she's actually a pretty decent singer. None of that Melodyne or Auto-Tune shit. I'll include a link in the description below. As always, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.